Australotitan Cooperensis was a large sauropod dinosaur from ancient Australia roughly 92 to 96 million years ago and is the largest known Australian non-avian dinosaur discovered so far. As you may have guessed from one fandom website listing a synonym of it as being Banana Bendosaurus, Australotitan was discovered and excavated between 2005 and 2007 in Queensland, Australia. The excavation was done by workers from the Queensland Museum and the Aero Manga Natural History Museum, with the specimen found being nicknamed Cooper after the Cooper Creek near where they found the specimen. The fossils of Cooper were officially named Australotitan Cooperensis in 2021, making news headlines as Australia's largest dinosaur. In order to show that Australotitan was a new species, paleontologists had to compare Cooper to other sauropods from both Australia and the rest of the world. However, as Dr. Hock Null said in an interview, this was hard to do due to how large, heavy and fragile the fossils were. So they digitally recreated the fossils found so that way, as Hock Null put it himself, he could carry hundreds of kilos of dinosaur bones in a 7 kilogram laptop. Via doing this, they found that not only were the fossils their own species, Australotitan cooperensis, meaning Southern Titan of Cooper Creek, but it also belonged to a family shared with other Australian sauropods. This new family has been named Diamantinosauria after Diamantinosaurus, and this family also includes Savannosaurus and Wintonotitan. Australotitan is the largest member of this family. Estimates put the animal at 25 to 30 meters long, 5 to 6.5 meters tall at the hip, and somewhere between 23 and 74 metric tons, or about 1,400 red kangaroos, according to a couple websites. Though I do recall reading something else that had a more refined estimate of 64 to 75 metric tons, which is comparable to other titanosaurian dinosaurs such as Argentinosaurus. For those wondering where they got the 23 metric ton number from, I reckon it's due to there having been more specimens found, with at least three other specimens of varying sizes to my knowledge though all are very fragmentary. Cooper being believed to have been trampled by other sauropods due to the state of some of his fossils, and there was even another smaller specimen found in the Winton Formation, which was where they found Cooper, that is also believed to have been trampled by other dinosaurs. Alongside that, Australotitan is believed to have been the largest animal in Australia at the time of its existence, meaning that it was probably in a similar situation to animals like Argentinosaurus, where predators most likely didn't go for adults unless they were in loose gangs like Komodo dragons, meaning that when they did gang up, they'd probably end up carrying off some of the bones with large chunks of meat still attached. Due to this little comparison, some of you might be quick to ask if either of the two animals is bigger than the other, however that's a hard question to answer right now. These animals are very fragmentary, with Argentinosaurus only being known from 13 bones. And even though we have at least four different specimens of Australotitan, that's still not good enough to get an idea of the size. The main reason people point to Tyrannosaurus as being the biggest meat-eating theropod is because Tyrannosaurus has 40-something, possibly even how 50 individuals known, meaning that we can get a decent idea of the average size of Tyrannosaurus. Meanwhile, with the other meat-eating theropods, they're only known from a few remains, at most maybe 6 or 7 individuals. This problem with carnivorous dinosaurs is amplified with titanosaurian dinosaurs and sauropods in general, because again, they are known from at most 6 or 7 individuals, with most only having 1 or 2, which might only be a couple partial vertebrae. And then you gotta take into account stuff like the fact these known individuals might be outliers. So they could be small for their species, or they could be humongous for their species. So really, even Argentinosaurus, the one that's currently seen as the dinosaur equivalent of Ankalagon the Black from Lord of the Rings, might not be the biggest. So for now, I highly recommend we wait until more specimens of these animals have been found in order to say who is the biggest. 
perhaps after this video some of you could try and go to the Winton or Hine call formation and try to find some specimens yourselves. I'll give you a free cookie for doing so. Anyway, Australotitan to my knowledge hasn't gotten any notable media appearances yet due to it only being recently announced as a new dinosaur despite being discovered back in the mid 2000s though there might be some obscure documentary or TV show I'm unaware of. Personally, if they make a Prehistoric Planet Season 2, I'd like for them to feature Australotitan. Australian dinosaurs need some love. Anyway, that's this video over with. I hope to, in the future, make more videos on Australian dinosaurs, such as Australovenator, Minami, or perhaps even Diamantinosaurus. And sorry if this wasn't as in-depth as some of you might have wanted it to be, most of the stuff I've read through just kind of started repeating the same information and not really adding much. Anyway, after this will be the surprise video, so let's see what I decide to do for that.